Hello guys, in this video I will show you about Arduino and how to use it and how you can make one on your own. So what is an Arduino? I am sure you have heard about this word many number of times by now. Because before going in depth in Arduino, firstly you want to know about microcontrollers or shortly MCU. Microcontrollers are integrated circuits that are basically tiny computers. They can run small simple software programs but only they can execute one program at a single time. Arduino, in a, Arduino is a company in Italy that designs microcontroller boards that are easy to use. They use a microcontroller called Atmega 328P. There are many number of boards available in market at different sizes. But why this thing is so popular? Because of RDE. Arduino creates their own development environment. IDE or shortly and it is a open source, you can download it and use it. You can use Arduino to control motors, LEDs, Bluetooth, sensors and lot more. This is Arduino Uno board, the most popular Arduino board. This is the microcontroller, the name of this microcontroller is Atmega 328P. This is the brain of this Arduino Uno board. It contains 28 pins. Of these 28 pins, 13 pins are digital pins and 5 pins are analog pins. And this is crystal. The function of this crystal is to send data, the freq uh, to set frequency of which these sensors or LEDs or any other components communicate with these Arduino uh, microcontroller. This is the voltage regulator. Any voltage you give to this Arduino Uno board, any DC voltage is converted into 5 volts DC, DC jack for powering the Arduino Uno board. This port is, used, is connected to laptop to send program to this microcontroller. These are the pin extensions for this microcontroller. These pins are come out from these ports, 28 ports. This is the onboard LED. Usually onboard LED is connected to pin 13. If you program this Arduino Uno board uh, to blink this LED, you have to write digital pin 13, output for digital pin 13. Let us discuss this microcontroller. The name of this microcontroller is Atmega 328P. Of this. 13 pins are digital, 5 pins are analog, digital means 0 or 1 or 0 volts or 5 volts, analog pin in between 0 to 5 volts, basically this microcontroller works on the only 5 volts, if you give more than 5 volts it will burn out, that's why we, here there is, there is a voltage regulator which converts any DC voltage into 5 volts. Twenty eight pins starting from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen are for left side, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. This is this pin is ground and sound pin is ground. 22 pin is ground. These are all digital pins. Digital pin 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is crystal pin. These two are 8 pin 8 and pin 9 are crystal pins. This is the crystal. 
in which microcontroller is communicated to a laptop. The frequency is set by crystal. This is 16 kilohertz clock crystal. And 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 are also digital pins. This digital pin 9, digital pin 10, 11, 12, 13. Pin 20 is also VCC. Here pin 8 also VCC. Works under 5 volts. This is also 5 volts. Analog reference pin this. This is analog pin 0. Unlock pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 unlock pins, 13 digital pins. 13 digital pins, 5 analog pins. And 2 VCC pins, 4 ground pins. All 28 pins are coming from this microcontroller. Sorry. into capacitors for filtering the DC voltage coming from 5 volts to this microcontroller. This is all about board. Coming to communication, analog and digital. Digital means either 0 or 1. If you want to control sensors like IR sensor, PIR sensor or ultrasonic sensor, all these sensors gives data either 0 or 1, either present or absent. For these types of sensors are LEDs, either on or off. For this type of devices, we use digital pins. 13 pins to convert uh, to control motors like servo motors or any other DC motors we use analog pins 5 pins P uh, my uh, A0 A1 A2 A3 A4 A5 these are uh, these are about this board let's get entered into code coding these microcontroller. Now to program Arduino board, we want to install Arduino software. Go to arduino.cc official website and download the latest version for Windows. After downloading, open the Arduino software. It will look like this. Arduino code is same like C programming code. It mainly contains two functions, wire setup and wire loop. Commands that run once, commands that runs once are written in wire setup. And commands that runs over and over again are written in while loop. Let us write a simple code for blinking an LED. Since LED is a digital device, either on or off, we want to connect it to digital pins. Let us declare any digital pin. Since we have 13 digital pins, let us take digital pin 12. LED pin is connected to digital pin 12. In wide setup, we want to declare that we are give output since we are give we are sending signal to LED, it is declared as output. Pin mode is the function M only should capital. All pin has output. Pin column. Now go to while loop. Digital write is the function used to send data to the devices connected to Arduino. As we are connecting digital pin, we want to write digital writer. If you want to control analog devices, use analog write. 
and to read the information from the devices use digital read and analog read functions w should be capital digital Thirteen pin. As we are connected to thirteen, if you write command hi, it will send five volts to the to that pin. Now give a delay of about thousand. That means one second. Again, give low. That means zero to the digital pin. Digital. To give zero volts, I take command low. Now give delay of about give any any delay as you want. Thousand. Now save the program. And give and after making after making connections, click on the stick button to upload the code. Go to connections. This is LED. Longer pin is anode, a shorter pin is cathode. Connected 330 ohms resistor in series with LED. Positive pin of the LED is connected to pin 12 of the Arduino board. A negative pin is connected to ground. And upload the program. See, LED is blinking with a delay of one second. Guys, if you like this video, please share and like the button and click the like button given below. And if you want to interest in more about Arduino programming and projects, please subscribe to my channel.